Let me just do some some looks. Some yes, yes. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you this makeup look, I think, unless I change it again and forget to re-record this intro. <laughs> it's been a journey to get here, as you're about to see. And yeah, it's just like a chit chat, get ready with me video, just, you know, pop the kettle on, get a little cuppa, and um, maybe you're doing your makeup too or maybe you're just chilling I don't know Honest, I don't think it's really about the makeup because I'm not a makeup artist and as you will see this has been very troublesome very troublesome indeed but I just kind of like sitting down and having a chat with you guys and it feels I don't know it feels good it feels nice to chat with you so that's okay I'm gonna try and not be trash I don't know why every time I get my camera out for a get ready with me I end up doing my makeup like a savage I've already prepared my face in terms of just like washed it and put some day cream on I kind of feel a little bit greasy but whatever brushed my lips always a key part of any day <laughs> um, and moisturized them too so pretty much got a clean slate to work with I'm just gonna push my hair back and we can get we can get crackle whacking as much as I'm enjoying this wild blonde stage of my life it is difficult when you are brown because because you'll just get makeup on your on your hair. I'm gonna start with some primer. I'm using NYX Pore Filler Primer. Most of my makeup, to be honest, is NYX now. It's pretty much everywhere. It's super cheap, but it is also good quality, and they have a wide range of shades and stuff. And I am not that fussy when it comes to makeup. Like, I don't, don't get me wrong, I don't like stuff that is just bad quality, but I'm not gonna spend 30 quid on a lipstick that is, like, a slightly better quality than a £7 lipstick, because I'm just not really at that stage in my life. I'm definitely at a stage in my life when I am appreciating quality more. Clothes and stuff, I don't really buy as many like cheap clothes. I'd rather just buy a jacket. Twice the price that I know is gonna last me like years. Then I'm using my NYX foundation, stay matte but not flat. It is too dark for me, to be honest, um, but I almost always, without a doubt, make my makeup too light. So I actually prefer going in with a deeper color that will also serve as a um, shadow. So I don't really use Kind of contour dark shadowing much i just <laughs> use my foundation is that silly i just prefer the way it comes out to be honest than when i use a lighter color and then i'm stressing so i put too much concealer on and i look like i'm trying to play for a different race i just use the back end so i use one end of a beauty sponge for my concealer and one for my makeup there's been stuff that i'd wanted to chat with you guys about but I'm just unsure as to whether I should ever even go down that road. I don't know, I wouldn't necessarily consider myself in the fitness industry. I'm very much still starting out and just casually posting things. I don't really, you know, make a living off of this. I obviously work as a doctor, um, which I guess is you know, obviously the health industry, um, if you can call it that. In the UK, I work for the NHS, so it's not really like the money pumping profit building machine I follow a lot of people within the fitness industry it's great it's so great but it's also like i don't know this is my nyx concealer which i'm just gonna put under my eyes i'm a massive fan of if you are against something unless it's like some serious like life-changing thing try and speak for what you're for try and give people a positive um, other option so maybe I should say what I'm for and then it will probably become clear the things that I things that I'm just like nah leave it when it comes to the fitness industry that I'm aware of or as I see it at the moment what I'm for is like being chill <laughs> I'm so for being chill there's so much information out there there are so many research projects there are so many reviews, you know, our understanding of nutrition is still, in my opinion, quite at the early stages. I think there's so much more that we can learn about food and the way it interacts with our body. Different exercise styles, different dietary styles. There's a lot of information out there. So when you add all of those different types of healthy lifestyles and diets, when you multiply that by the number of people in the world and the number of different lifestyles, personality types, histories, relationships with food, health needs, there are many roads to success. <laughs> there are many, there, you know, there's more than one way to skin a cat, want of a better phrase. And sometimes I do feel like 
we try and just find what is the number one way and it's like why are we even trying to find the one way that works like there are a few different ways that you can eat healthily and remain healthy and so I'm not hugely one for tearing down what works for other people if it's something that causes you to be unhealthy then number one it's not in the category because it's not a healthy lifestyle so yeah you should stop that but when it comes to like little picking picking at picking at bits just picking picking I find that a bit overwhelming sometimes and I, and I think that actually the behavioral aspect of healthy eating is really important like just because you have a wealth of correct scientific information doesn't mean that you will put it into action and if you can't put it into action then it's it's kind of worthless it's kind of pointless you can give me the absolute perfect human health diet but if I can't stick to it I'm not going to get the results you know they, as we say in medicine you know the, the one pill that doesn't work is the one that you don't take um, so adherence is important adherence to a healthy lifestyle adherence to a diet and I think that generally as well we adhere to things that we enjoy like that's the reason why so many people hate politics even though politics is literally so important it affects every single one of us like the policy it literally means policy the way that we do things the way that we life and yet so many people are disengaged with politics because there's so much negativity and hate and lies and confusion so I think that's something that I'm quite aware of that I don't I never want to feed into I never want to like be within that atmosphere I just want my channels and I just want my YouTube channel my Instagram to just be like a pretty chilled <laughs> environment in which you can get some important health facts and medical information and see how I personally apply that to my life in a light and fun and positive way and you can take that away and make what you make of it do you see what I mean by the way the way I just blend until there is no more difference in colour and my face is just one big large sponge. I've got my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Another thing that I've become more aware of is I have actually gained weight. I, I've gained weight over the last couple of months. If you go back to my first videos you will be able to see that I was a lot leaner and that's okay like it's no big deal I know why I've gained weight it's because I've actually reduced my training recently or I did over the last couple of months but I've been eating the same happy balance that I had for a couple of years there and um, I changed and and it resulted in me gaining weight. I'm changing that and um, to the point where I will be losing a little bit of weight and going back to my other side and I wanted to tell you guys, I wanted to tell you guys that oh this is how I'm gonna lose a little bit of weight but <laughs> but I can't I and I won't because I'm terrified to, I'm terrified. Me, a healthy non-obese young woman is gonna lose a few pounds you know it reminds me of Regina George on Mean Girls saying I really want to lose three pounds and it's just like you don't need to don't do it the truth is I'm gonna do it anyway and and there lies the kind of dissonance that I've been struggling with I know that I'm healthy right now I know that I you know I'm grateful to God I love my body I love the way I look now I look I personally think I look a little bit softer and um, whatever that means I, I don't mind being this size it's just I have different goals like athletic goals and I would like to be able to fit into my favorite jeans again before I rip them like I have done so many other ones and these jeans are good I don't want to rip them so I am going to be just adjusting my diet to suit my current activity level which will be reducing my calorie intake slightly so that I'm not on this trajectory of gaining weight so that I can just kind of dip a little and then maintain again I'm a firm believer like you'll see on all of my videos that I say over and over again like love yourself the way that you are like you can love yourself and change yourself that seems to be a, a niche way of thinking I personally think that I can still like the way that I look now and still change it honestly do you know what you want to know my opinion on it as long as you are healthy it is none of my business it is just none of my business and even if you aren't healthy like it's my business if you you know if I was your doctor for example um but it, or if you ask me for my opinion oh I should brush this off I'm talking so much I literally look crazy because I'm now white haired or whatever you want to call it I do a very faint eyebrow so I don't do a lot to my eyebrows because otherwise it does just you do just end up looking a little bit crazy um so I just very faintly draw them in pencil that needs sharpening I don't know what it is about sharpening pencils I just hate like I would rather throw the whole thing away throw it in the bin and get me a new one just gonna do this brush them up and I kind of like the wild look like have I just been dragged out of a bush who knows who knows let's keep it exciting let's keep keep them guessing keep them on their toes I just put some concealer on that brush I'm just gonna 
outline it. And I'm just gonna push that in it. I actually just get a little bit of mascara, like an old, almost running out mascara. And I just, I just mess them up a bit again. So I just like to see individual hairs coming through. Not too much though, because as I've said, I'm now blonde. Something just fell in my kitchen that is super creepy. I definitely err on the side of a greasy face. So I tend to go for like mattifying products and I do bake my face, whatever that even means. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> Using a sleek, dark palette thing. Um, it is so old and running out. Um, oh, 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 look at that. So yeah, back to the health stuff. My personal opinion is that health is a spectrum and you get to choose where you sit on that spectrum. You can, I mean, even when we talk about body mass index, there's a spectrum of a healthy body mass index. There's a spectrum of a healthy body fat percentage, a healthy muscle mass percentage. Um, it's, it's always a range. I really do think that you get to choose where you sit on that. There are important things to consider, like the lifestyle that you need to live in order to sit in a certain area. You know, if you want to sit on the very edge of, you know, the lowest healthy body fat percentage you possibly can, that's going to be really hard. It's going to be stressful. You might find that your mental health suffers. You might find that the amount of time that you have to spend exercising or counting your macros or whatever it is that you have to do to maintain that, you might find it difficult. Whereas someone who is an athlete might find that really easy and actually they can sit on that end spectrum point of the healthy spectrum and be perfectly happy with their lives. Sometimes within the health industry we like to just pretend like people aren't human. We like to pretend like we don't have other things going on in our lives. We shouldn't care what you look like which is you know good. I genuinely believe that you should love your body no matter how it looks. I believe that as you do exercise you will actually learn that there are so many more benefits to exercise than the way that you look. But equally, I'm not going to judge someone for starting where they start. If you come to me and you say, hey, I want to get thicker thighs, then cool, I'm going to show you how to get them while improving your health, while committing, being diligent, enjoying it, learning to love your body and appreciate it for what it can do. You know, I'm okay with that. I'm not going to judge you for for being pretty much a normal person with personal preferences. I'm also not gonna put any of my preferences on you. Where you wanna sit on that scale, it's up to you. You and your body are you and your business, okay? Really pray that that comes across. I hope that you never see my videos and feel like, oh, I have to have toned arms, or I have to, you know, do this or do that. Enjoy a healthy lifestyle. It's like, right now, am I bigger than I was before? Yeah, I am. Am I worried about it? No. Am I going to change my habits so that I don't, continue gaining weight and you know putting more pressure on my knees when I'm doing hurdling etc yeah I am going to change my habits is it going to stress me out no am I is it going to be difficult yeah I'm going to have to have less wine <laughs> I'm going to have to have you know when someone offers me a chocolate I'm going to have to say no more often than I say yes um so yeah of course it's going to be slightly difficult but it, you know a lot of things in life are more honest more honest with ourselves but yeah i guess that's just kind of what's been on my mind you know oh by the way i'm using this revolution reloaded palette they're all right to be honest they're all right they're just a palette but yeah what are your thoughts do you follow many fitness accounts what are your favorite ones um do you find the kind of online social media fitness community do you find it helpful i have loads of favorite accounts i have loads of people that i follow and that i think are awesome um and that inspire me i know i said i was going for a natural look but then i saw this lipstick and i changed my mind so still use the super cheap um collection stroke eyeliner it's so cheap um but it just kind of does what i want so i don't know if it ain't broke don't fix it my mascara I use telescopic L'Oreal extra black it's such a good mascara for little eyelashes and I have very little curly eyelashes so yeah this brush is just perfect if you have short lashes <laughs> oh it was all going so averagely oh I don't think it's actually allowed that I would be able to do get ready with me without some kind of tragedy so all right i'm just gonna leave that to dry and then i'm just, I'm just gonna put the tiniest bit but when you're doing different colors of hair whether it's pink blue or whatever a good way of helping it blend a bit more is just by having a tinge of the hair color 
in your highlights. I know that sounds silly, but it just helps it make more sense. I mean, I've been quite a few different colours over the years, um, and especially when it comes to like blonde hair and reddish tingish hair. Um, if you've got like a silvery looking highlight and quite warm looking hair, that can sometimes just you know sometimes it's nice to just keep a theme going so i've got some quite silvery eyeshadow here that i just use as highlight and then again with the consistency i then just take that same color i mean i'm saying what i do this is just what i do probably a million better ways of doing this so i just put that a little bit on my nose as well i'm not a huge fan of a super contoured nose and um, I quite like having a flat nose my nose is naturally relatively flat and I quite like that and um, yeah just a little bit of highlight there and I've already put some on my upper lip by the way just put a small dab on my chin fun fact I really like my chin don't know why just since I was like a kid I just always thought I had a really nice chin and it's so bizarre because no one ever thinks of their chin but I do sometimes I look at it and I'm like thank you chin for being unproblematic <laughs> not that any part of our faces are unproblematic it's society generally that's quite problematic cool, 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 cool. so then what I do is I go back to my sleek palette that's falling apart but holding it together and I just get a little bit little the tiniest bit on the brush and I just put in the thinnest line on the side of my nose and that's it <laughs> and then I decide that I actually hate my makeup and I stare at it for a while and I realize it's because I don't have eyelashes on so put it on my lashes so unproblematic you know the rest of my makeup game might be trash but my lash application game by god's grace still strong if i may say so myself it's too much oh so this is the final look what do you think oh i haven't done my setting spray yet and the reason I haven't done my setting spray is because I hate it. <laughs> I hate it, um, mainly because of the lipstick. I just don't. I'm just not feeling this lip today. It's not my best life at this moment in time. Okay, so I've just removed the lip, and I honestly feel like it looks so much better already. <laughs> it was just the lip that I hated. So um, I'm going to put on a more neutral lip look right now. <laughs> Okay, so I feel like this is it. This is the lip colour that I want um, right now. So that kind of changes everything else. <laughs> I'm just going to really quickly update the rest of my face to match this lip colour because this is, this is who I want to be right now. So use this nyx matte finishing setting spray i honestly always believed that setting sprays were a myth i notice when i forget to put this on it is so so good so yeah this is the final look thanks for getting ready with me and chatting with me and being my internet friends and supporting me <laughs> loving me so yeah thank you so much for getting ready with me let me know your thoughts on the things that we've discussed in the comments i would love to hear your thoughts don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't already for more videos new video every single day of september yay 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 i will see you in my next video bye